helmet on my head. Figure out what that zombie said. What? Lava all over the room. Got a half heart left, man, I am doomed. Don't have any iron bars. My pick just broke into some shards. Scary noise, what should I do? Go left or right, I'll have to choose. Visions of last time flash inside my mind. I'm scared. Oh well. And I'm pretty sure there's a big creeper right there. Don't mind at night I know you're looking at that cave And you're feeling kind of brave Go to bed, you'll be alright Don't mind at night There's nothing that is gonna change If you just wait until the day Zombies wanna eat your brain Don't mind at night I know it's me you're gonna fake Make a bed, it's not too late Three wall and three wooden planks Don't mind at night How many times I have to say Drop the pick and walk away Hey. It's all tied up in knots This labyrinth, I'm getting lost This is really getting old Found like two pieces of coal Down one way, there's just stone Monsters won't leave me alone Down another, there's some lava And of course I get pwned Remember last time I tried to mine At night, I failed So bad I lost all my stuff It was really tough That's it Rage quit don't mind at night I know you're looking at that cave And you're feeling kind of brave Go to bed, you'll be alright Don't mind at night There's nothing that is gonna change If you just wait until the day Zombies wanna eat your brain Don't mind at night I know it's me you're gonna think Make a bed, it's not too late Three wall and three wooden planks Don't mind at night How many times I have to say Drop the pick and walk away Hey.
diamonds and make some armor. Get it, baby, go and forge. I like you so, MLG Pro, the sword's made of diamonds, so come at me, bro. Huh. Training in your room under the torchlight, home that form to get you ready for the big fight. Every single day in the home, night creepers out prowling. All right, look at me, look at you. Take my revenge, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm a warrior, baby, what else is new? And my blade's gonna taste Cause for baby, you. Baby, tonight, Bring it. the creepers trying to steal all our stuff again. Get your stuff. Yeah, let's take back yeah, the world. Baby, tonight, <laughs> have your sword, armor, and gold. It's on. Take your revenge. Minecraft Steve Spelunking ASMR 24 hours for sleep relax study chill
Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode one of Fisnumcraft, the series where I play Minecraft. This is going to be a single player let's play. And when I say let's play, I use that term <coughs> pretty loosely because I'm kind of an idiot at this game. So you're going to see a lot of fails, you're going to see a lot of triumphs, at least I'm hoping. So, go grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee, hot cup of cocoa. I got apple cider right here, freshly brewed. Let me take a sip. I can't decipher what this drink <sighs> is going to Hey, Private Octo! Thank you for the four months and welcome. Why is everyone so scared? <laughs> Welcome to Minecraft, everybody! Hey, you don't know the most popular game of all time, Minecraft? You don't know what the stream's about? <laughs> so, I'm scared. You honestly don't know what Minecraft is all about. No, I don't wanna! What do you mean? Don't touch D.A. Villager Child. Uh, thank you, Scamillion, for the 11 months. How's everybody going today? Everybody having a little nice, comfortable time? I can feel it. Oh, why? What do you mean? It's just a single player world. What do you mean? There's nothing here. There, we, we're just gonna do a normal playthrough of a normal single player what world. The heck is this? Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> We're just gonna be doing a normal, completely not uh, not planned at all. Four is gonna prematurely end with this little green stream, but such is life. At least it will probably be funny. Thank you. This is a completely normal, no no strings attached Minecraft stream. Do I just eat into water? No, you have to scrub it. Eat into washing machine. Cause this thing is collecting dust fast, Emo. I mean, I just threw mine in the washing machine and it was fine, but I don't know. You have to like look at the makeshift website for that. Hey, Star Sky, welcome. Thank you for the 11 months. We know what you're doing. What have you planned? I'm I don't know. <laughs> I'm just gonna be playing a nice, nice session of Minecraft. In a single player world. Look, look, look. Young, See? Need some laughs to wake up so See? Like a good stream to enjoy. Single player. Absolutely no problem. There are no problems in the stream. We are just gonna be playing a nice little session of Minecraft. Yeah, it's called the grooming stream for a reason. Oh yeah, right. Right. I guess I should explain that. Why this stream had a jailer. WTF is this title? Answer me, Phil, for the love of God. So, I guess aside from this being a Minecraft stream. What is the groomatorium and why you are searching for IT? We also have a bonus objective. Hey, Shower Jumping Walrus, thank you for the 14 months. Normal. Dream free. Unplanned Minecraft stream. For you see! There is a side quest that we must take! 
in the stream chat. We need to find the Groovatorium. Long ago in an ancient land, it was described by the ancient scribes. Every time a YouTuber reaches the fabled 100k subscriber mark, they must go on a quest to find the Groovatorium. Inside of that fabled place, you will be able to find all the grooming equipment your heart desires. And with that, you may, able, you may be able to change the destiny of the entire world. Or at least of your subscribers, I don't know. You have to be responsible with the people that are, you know, watching your channel and stuff like that. So, aside from playing Minecraft, we will also be in a search for the Groomatorium. Once we find it, we need to make a very, very important moral decision. Do we groom responsibly or callously? We don't know. We will find that out on the stream. So right now, as per Minecraft tradition, we will be mining some trees and chopping up some caves and get some food. Hopefully we'll be able to find some shelter by the end of... Oh shit, I forgot to enable sun notifications. There we go. Hopefully by the end of the night, we will be able to find some shelter. Alone in the Dark remake stream soon. I do like Alone in the Dark, so... Oh my god, look! It's a little turtle! Hello there. I'm here to be groomed. Thank you, Huey. Welcome, and thank you for the two months. Look at the little guy. I'll make sure that I can remember your location so that I can rescue you in the future. Something tells me this ain't gonna be normal. Uh, this is completely normal, dude. This is just a regular playthrough of Minecraft that a normal person with a normal audience would enjoy after they achieve 100k subscribers on YouTube. As you know, in the talk success bit, we people are very responsible. Hey, Virus Tech. I have missed some streams, but I will. And I don't trust that it will be single player for long. Smiley face. Smiley face. That's okay. I mean, we're literally in a single player world. There's no nothing you can do to change that. See? So it's not like I secretly have some thing planned behind my back that I can just, like, appear out of nowhere. There's totally nothing going on there. It's just a normal Minecraft playthrough. By the way, do you guys enjoy the songs at the start of the stream? Because those are very nostalgic. Good luck and have fun, everyone. Good, Charla. Underscore phi a z orb colon underscore phi a z orb colon underscore phi a z orb. The music was awesome. Thank you. Phil, you're my favorite minor. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. So now that we are, now that we got this, we are able to craft some tools. As you know, Minecraft is a game where you can mine and craft, so we will be doing these things in this uh, stream so that we can achieve the Minecraft. And build, yes. Equipment for sheep's right, though? Right colon underscore fi worry? That depends on what we will do when we find the Groomatorium. It's a really deep beach. Man, I remember when I was a kid and watched those, like, old Minecraft music videos. Like, that brought some memories, not gonna lie. I found the Phil Grumatorium Inc. <laughs> you do not simply find... The Grumatorium. The Grumatorium comes to you. This is like the one piece for you to- <laughs> Actually, not a bad comparison. 
I need to find a mine first. Honestly, I'm not really that good at this game. I kind of just build. Base streamer as always. Good luck on your quest, sir. Thank you, Malkor. I'm pretty sure that to get to the Groomatorium, at least we will need some sort of equipment. Maybe a compass. I can't wait for you to find the Groomatorium. I've oh, been a pumpkin. Shampoo for a while now. We need to be able to find shelter first. Thank you. All right, real talk, Phil. Hello there. Assuming this is normal, are you experienced in Minecraft? No. Like, are you kind of good at it, or don't play in <laughs> <God? laughs> Fucking dude, I play horror games. In four, Phil has the from the fog mod with Hero Brian Ray textured as Dream. Okay, that's a pretty good one, actually. No, it's just regular unmodded Minecraft. I don't know what you're talking about. This sense of dread will not leave my soul. I'm pretty sure that's you can diagnose that as like a uh, like stress disorder. You should probably seek a therapist about that. The the world is not all bad stuff. Ooh, yeah, I have actually. What is that? Oh, <gasps> is that the Groomatorium? Hold on. I think we might chat. I think we have, may have actually found the Groomatorium in our first day. Hold on. I need to get some tools before we go in there. We need to we need to make some tools so that we can. I always preferred axes in Minecraft rather than swords. Especially with the update that allows you to, like, do extra damage with the axes. We will need to get at least some stone tools to be able to brave the Groomatorium. Now this is the life. This is the game that built a fucking YouTube empire, everybody. This is the kind of shit that people literally grew up with from, like, birth. Personally, not me. I grew up in, like, you know, Nintendo 64 games and, like, Super Nintendo games, but... It was still a pretty cool game to, like, follow alongside its development in 2010. Are you having fun yet? It was pretty fun. We need to make sure that we can achieve at least a little bit of success in Minecraft before we can reach the, Romator the Grumatorium. Let's see here. We will do our battle axe. And a little pick. And to complete the set, we will get a little shovel. Yeah, like, 95% of YouTubers got popular because of Minecraft. Man. And then, like, PewDiePie played it, and, like, it got an even bigger resurgence after that. I'm excited for him to meet the most scariest mob in the Minecraft caves. We need to, f we need to go into the mines. Oh my god, I haven't even met the warden. Like, it's been a while since I've properly, seriously played Minecraft. I think, like, after, like, the main game released back in, like, what, 2011? I just kind of stopped? No, no, that, no, that was the original beta, actually. No, never mind. Alright. I think with this... We maybe could brave the, the Grumatorium? Let's see. There are two structures in there. Let's see if we can try to sneak in there. See what we can find. Ooh. Okay, we got we got the epic weather. Oh nice. Oh well, Rose. Of course when you reach the Grumatorium, the weather starts going rainy. Maybe if we can get some like meat in the process. 
Very good. I wish that, like, pigs also gave you, like, armor. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. Oh, shit. Wait, it's about to be night. I need to build myself a shelter. Ah! Spooky! Okay... Yeah, there's zombies. Zombies are starting to appear. We need to, like... Shield ourselves. Make a little door. Oh god, the thunder! There we go. Now we will make this our accommodations for the night. Is your skin just Steve with a green shirt? Yeah? I'm not good at making skins. Has Phil's hunger gone down? No, because I don't sprint. Ooh. Ominous. Alright, Chad, we need some kind of strategy to be able to, like, siege this castle. I think that... Can you burn oak logs to be able to get, like, charcoal? Let me try that out. You can, yes. Perfect. This will help. And I should probably make a chest. Oh wait, I need one more. Two, three, four, five, six. Yeah! We also need to find some sheep so that we can set our spawn point in here. God bless Minecraft! Without it, we would not have groomers. Exactly, Chef Torte. This game showed people that, like, animals are really cute and fluffy, and I'm pretty sure that it led to a bunch of people becoming, like, pet, like, pet caretakers and veterinarians in the future. I think that's really neat. Let me get some sticks going on here. Because, like, these mobs are super cute, if you know what I mean. Hopefully, we'll be able to... Any mobs around here? No, thankfully not. My favorite part about Minecraft is, like, the early game where you're just, like, kind of surviving. Because, like, before, before all the new additions to the game, like, there was this sense of, like, you don't know where you are. It's just a wild world and there's nothing around you to help you out. It's just your survival instincts. It's much like being on the internet. When you're on the internet, like when you're like a little kid, everything around you is new and dangerous and like sometimes it's really scary. Like that, that is spooky for example. So like being on the internet when you're a kid, it's much like Minecraft. And then eventually, during the late hours of the night, if you don't protect yourself, you will be able to find some hostile mobs out there on the internet. And you, what you need to make sure is to get away from them as fast as possible. If you ever do more Minecraft streams, I've made two five skins posted in your art channel. Ooh. I'll take a look at those. Thank you. Remember kids, if you're playing Minecraft, don't mine at night. Make sure that you stay safe so that the creepers don't get you. There's a lot of hostile mobs out there. You wouldn't want anything bad to happen, especially because, like, this game is just to have fun, man. It's not supposed to be a horror game. This is just a relaxing and nice time. 
Except if you go, like, down deep, 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 deep into the mines, and you find the Warden, and then he kicks your ass. Since you're searching for the Grimatorium, does that mean you'll lose some friends along the way? As long as you're responsible with the Grimatorium, you will be able to keep your friends. You need to make sure that nobody gets harmed on your way to the Grimatorium. Oh yeah, I saw the maze! Back in the... Like, like, on Twitter, I saw like a bunch of people playing a like, playing with a giant maze. It looks super fucking cool. Hey, Virus Tech, thank you for the 10 gifted. Nice. I guess, in the metaphor that we're going for, the warden on the internet would be 4chan. Ooh, I got some coal. Very nice. And actually, you should mine at night specifically because there will be less mobs in the caves due to mob capacity being wasted above ground. This is true. Sorry, I'm not very much of a Minecraft expert. We're gonna get the, these pieces of coal and hopefully, hopefully if we mine for long enough, we'll be able to find iron because like, I would very much appreciate some iron before we enter that, that tower over there. Bonjour! Bonjour over there. Thank you for the super chat. Okay, so we have not found iron. Some Minecraft, like, experts, like, do, like, some weird strip mining thing so that they can find iron really fast. I don't really know how to do that, personally. I just kind of, like, randomly make holes until I can find something. Sorry for not being an expert once again. What the fuck is going on? Welcome to Minecraft. Well, what, what, how was the fall? Did you, did you expect anything different from this? I can't believe Minecraft was so popular they made miners in real life. Ah, uh, yeah, the popular miner mod for real life. Let me just put this over here. What is this rock thing? Oh, this is copper, right? Sorry, it's been like, like a really, really long time since I've played Minecraft. I love the miner mod. Personally, I hate it. I would just rather like not have it. Is there any way to uninstall the mods completely off your PC? Hey, Boo, thank you for the five dollars. I remember playing this game in its earliest phases before they added food and the hunger meter. Yes. What was like? 2011? Damn, I'm old. Old as fuck. Same here, bro. I remember being able to, like, carry only one piece of pork chop in my inventory per slot. And once you consume that, it instantly heals you back up to full health. It's actually kind of nostalgic thinking about it. Hey, Jiro. Welcome to the talks. This has been. If only we can find some iron. I guess I'll have to go into an actual cave for then. Hey, Tanstrosia. Thank you for the five euro. Did you know in terms of coal in German, it's cola. Cola. Almost there. Just need to get all these last few pieces. I don't know why everyone was so nervous at the beginning of the stream. Hold on. This is- this is just like the most relaxing thing ever. Everyone is so on- so on edge nowadays on the internet, I can't tell why. Still night outside? Yes. Dangerous. Don't let the creeper steal all your stuff again. I certainly will not. Thank you for the super chat. It's called the grooming stream. Yeah, because we're searching for the groomatorium. Taking away from the jokes, this game's actually an amazing game. My brother showed me this game and regretted it. I just hope this goes peaceful. I mean, we're not in peaceful. We are in normal difficulty. It's not hardcore, but it's still pretty pr like you have to watch out for the mobs and stuff you know 
I think I'm gonna run out of the pickaxe really soon. How about not finding that? But I'm a YouTuber with 100k subscribers on YouTube. I have to do it. It's a rite of passage. Oh wait, I hear- I hear zombies. Somewhere around here. Need to get another pickaxe though. We may be able to find iron before we go into the fortress. And there you go. Oh, maybe I should probably also cook up some of this, this pork chop. There you go. Almost there. Just follow the noises. And don't get killed. Hey, Pet does Minecraft. Your name is very appropriate for this stream. Welcome. Thank you for the super chat. Oh. I feel like I've gone away from the noises. Did it disappear? I'm fastly approaching your location. Give me your IP coordinates. Hey, Drew Edge, thank you for the super chat. I've been playing Terra Firmacraft, a mod that changes the game to be way more challenging but mo much more rewarding. I really like sm the smithing system. I remember seeing a video of a mod for Minecraft that, like, makes you so that you're unable to even, like, punch down trees. Like, you can punch trees, but for, like, little scraps of wood that you then can, like, make into, like, a dagger or something. It's, like, super fucking, like... Slow to do anything in that one. You need to like literally wait for hours to be able to craft like a single piece of pork chop. RL craft? Yeah, that one. What is the stream about? We're playing Minecraft. Come have a seed. I have completely lost this like gamer sense. I think he des- I think the zombie despawned. Which is a shame, actually. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to give up on the search for the zombie. Ah yes, RL Craft, the Dark Souls of Minecraft. I remember when they first added the Enderman. People compared him to Slenderman a lot. Is it still raining outside? Oh, it's because the zombie despawned because it's like daytime. All right, let's go outside and explore. We still need to get some more wood. Give me that. This will be important on our journey. It's been raining the whole night. Alright, now we need to be careful. Make sure that we don't get noticed. Ah shit, it's one of those assholes. Is there a way to kill them from a distance without using a bow? Oh my god, there's... HORSE! What is that thing? What is that thing? Okay, that's a mine. Hey! A zombie piglin! Oh no! Shit. Oh no. Oh no, 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 oh no! We should run. We're not safe in here. Hopefully this guy can't enter our, like, houses. Oh, 
It got lightning bolt. Oh! Bitch. Ow. Okay, how we need to deal with him. Square up, motherfucker. Teresa Ow. mod called Minecraft comes alive. Someone threw their baby in the lake. Yeah. How the fuck can a zombie piglin spawn here? Let's go check him out. Another one. Okay, we can we can we can deal with this. This is a very awkward situation. I'm not good at Minecraft. I don't know how to do the speed running tricks. <gasps> Crossbow! Now we actually need to find arrows for this thing. Ah, shit! Another one! Is this one powerful? What are they even called? Oh my god. Ow. Oh. Yeah! Hey Phil, I know speedrunners strats if you ever get stuck. Imagine getting soft locked in Minecraft. All right, now we can explore that cave, no problem. God fucking damn it, just when I say that. Oh my god! It's two of them! Got him? Yeah! Are they infinitely respawning from there? Oh, another crossbow. Very nice. Yes, they infinitely spawn. Oh, that is just a prick move, man. I only want to go into the mine. Hello, piggy. Okay, you know what? Screw this. I'm not gonna waste my time here, like, all day. I need to, go, like, find the grumatorium somewhere else. I'm not equipped enough for this yet. Asshole. Hey, Tara, how's it going? Hey, Phil. Just got on stream. What did I miss? We managed to find a Squidward temple, or whatever the fuck those things are called. Ow. And now we're fighting these guys. Hmm. If we can't go there yet, we can probably try to find somewhere else to mine. Hopefully we'll be able to get something, like a few pieces of armor before we can get there. Oh, but it looks... Look at that! Oh my god, they even have a tent in there! With horses and shit! I'm surveying the I'm surveying from a high vantage point. There's so many of them. They have a horse stable and shit. I want that. I need to find iron at least. Or maybe some leather. There's some cows over on the left. Oh my god, they keep spawning. Fuck that. Maybe we can tame a little horns. Mm. 
Ooh. Hello there. Oh, I think there was gonna be some irony here. Okay, we can get a bed from those sheep. Alright, time to slaughter, because... You guys won't fight back! Perfect for the slaughter. Okay, now that I have a bed... I'll be able to be more confident about... Raiding that little castle. Need to get just a little few more corpses, and we'll be able to craft some armor out of this. Eh. Kill. Murder. Destroy. Ah, shit. I need to go around there. What if I craft a boat? I need to get out of here. Yeah, chat. Objective number one of the stream is gonna be taking that down. And maybe we can rescue the horses from those stables. It's gonna be very hard, but I think we can do it. Use the underground strat. You mean literally mine below them? That's cheeky, actually. That could work. We have a quest! Ah! <laughs> Turn around. Ah. Yeah. Okay, he's not there anymore. He has fucked off. Oh, man. I love doing that. Jump attack! This was actually pretty cozy. When did these vines get here? Ba -ba. All right, now we can craft the bed. How do you craft the bed? It was like two and two. Uh so, Hello there. Into the left of your house. You can't miss it. Yeah, the tower. I've been trying to like get like over there for a while. Oh, you need three wool? Oh no. Shit. We were so close. Oh no. Nom 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 nom. I think why can't I use the arrows that I have stuck on my goddamn head? Alright, put all the... Wait! Wait, 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 wait! I have three wool! Does that work? What?! Aw, oh, come on! Is 
That should work. It has to be the same color. It used to work. You can dye the black one, how? Get some flowers and dye the wool. I do have this poppy. Wait, what about the bone meal? Can I dye it with the bone meal? White dye. Oh, shit! We're making this place look like home! Magic! Sweet dreams! That is actually perfect. Okay, now we can be a little bit more confident in our expeditions. Because now that we have actually... ...a base of operations to go back- to fall back on in case we die. This is perfect. Alright, we need to craft another weapon, and I'm gonna put- I'm gonna keep the boat. The doors might actually help, so I'm gonna keep those. Get the pork chop. Mm. Maybe I should make more torches, actually. And now we can craft- can we craft some armor with the leather that we have? Yes. This is my special helmet. It'll help us in the future. Doesn't Bad Omen last for an hour? That's a lot, what the hell? I just dropped the Fi skin on the server. Thank you. All right, uh, we will craft some uh, more tools. <laughs> Thank you. Hello there, Baxter. I haven't played Minecraft in almost a decade. Does jumping before you strike do more damage? Yes. Also, is the Gruatorium a real thing? I mean, the Fable Gruatorium may or may not exist. You need to keep your eyes peeled for it. It is once said in the ancient scriptures that the Grumatorium may spawn in a Minecraft world, or maybe an SMP, once a YouTuber crosses the 100k subscriber mark. It is only available for Minecraft YouTubers, after all. And maybe some analog horror creators, but that's another story. Eh. Eh. Stop it! Eh. 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 Stop it! Ooh. I've collected so many of these banners. Toss it out. Get some of these more watermelons. I love these watermelons. Oh shit! Yeah, we can get more cow leather in here. Hello, spider. You're friendly when you're in the light, aren't you? Hey, Ame. Do you like children yet? Nah, still hate them. Fuck them. Destroy them. You know that meme with, like, the crab? That, like, shoots out, like, a giant laser from its eyes? Be gone, brand! It's like that. Be gone, child! You will never stop. I am a hater. You will never stop the hater behavior. 
Maybe we can get the chest blades if we find enough cows. Silence brand. Oh hey, the piglin is still here. How's it going, little buddy? Yeah, me too, buddy. Okay, so someone said to do the underground strat, so... To do that, we will need to, like, mine from here... ...to over there. Oh, fuck, another one. To over there. I just don't know when to stop. Ah! Chad, you're Minecraft experts, right? How many blocks from here to there do I need to mine to be able to get into the base? It's probably like 50 hey, blocks, how right? Are you doing well? Hey, model, thank you for the $10. Like around 50? Yeah, that's my guess as well. I have no idea who you are, but this Minecraft grooming stream is my first impression of you. Welcome to the Toxic Cesspit! We do dumb bullshit in here. When is the part where we enter DMs with the miners? You shouldn't do that! That's horrible! There should be a separation between minors and adults on the internet. Also, parents should probably keep an eye out on their kids as much as possible. To prevent weird stuff like that from happening. If you're gonna raid that pillager at post, may I suggest making a shield to stop those arrows from hitting you? But I don't have a sh I don't have iron, that's the problem. We haven't been able to find iron yet. I think I'll be able to hit it soon. There we go. So that's like about... how many blocks? No iron? Use the iron in your blood! I don't think people even bleed in Minecraft. Go in a cave to get iron. Yeah, but that takes a long time. I'm trying to speedrun this, obviously. I have heard that there is a chance for someone to find the Gloomatorium faster if they become a speedrunner of Minecraft. It is completely unproven, though. It's just a, like a wild rumor out there. Oh, 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 hold on. We may have hit something. Ah, 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 ah! Get away! Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Ambushed! Can't believe you've done this to me. Ow! Oh god, are they gonna pile up as well? Oh god, they're all against me! There we go. Why do- why was one here? Oh, this is the mine that the pigling was in. Can they- I think they can hear me. There's a rule for bubble glowing babies, but I'm not allowed to say it here because YouTube is one of them. Thank you, wild car, for the five dollars. Okay, I think I might be, like, close to the outpost. But I guess it's a shame, like, look look at all these cave structures. I can't find any iron in them. This would be, like, the perfect cave to find some iron in. Phil, you're gonna die without a shield. I have a door, you know? That's basically a shield. Ha 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 ha. 
I think we found it. Oh, we may have found the outpost. Amazing. We're gonna put a door here so that we don't get surprise sneak attacked. This may be the move, chat. This may be the move, chat. This may be the move, chat. Oh god! Fucking knew it! Oh, and I- Yeah! Block that! No! Is located deeper underground and in mountains. The cheese struts! Oh my god, there's so many of them! Jeez! The Angry Story, thank you for the ten dollars. Gonna start a new world while watching the name is still a WTF to me, but have fun in Minecraft, man. Thank you. Hello? Oh my god, there's so many of them! Holy shit, they're killing each other! <laughs> Alright, now we can set up a base inside of their base. Hopefully none of them spawn here. Hopefully the light levels are enough for that. Tower secured! I feel like I cheesed that whole encounter. Oh my god, they have li little... Oh my god, stop it. They have like... A training thing over there. Can we find some loot in here, or is that, like, not available? Yes! Oh, shit, boys! We got that loot! Now we have some iron, finally! Actually, uh, yeah, I will be crafting a... a shield from this. Very nice, very nice, very nice. We actually nailed that side quest. Don't get near a village. Uh, do you see a village around? Because I really don't. We'll be fine. Or maybe I can, like, drink some milk to be able to, like, get the curse off of my back. But I would need a bucket for that. Use the horn. Uh, why? I don't know what that did. Yay! <laughs> Chad just wanted me to use the horn. It makes the funny noise. Cute. 
All right, now we will craft a shield. And hopefully with that, we will be able to murder every single villager out there. Bitches. How do you craft a shield? Like this? Yeah! Very nice. Maybe we can craft some pants as well. Pants! All right, now all we have to do is go to war. Also, maybe grab some bread. Hell yeah, 11. All right, I have some I have some strategies to be able to to deal with these guys. Well, hello there, motherfucker. <laughs> you ain't got shit. Who said war was fair? This is what Minecraft is all about, baby. Let me go get that door, actually. Maybe useful to us in the future. Yo, bitches, come here! Again! Hopefully, like, they'll drop arrows at some point. They're fucking endless. I need to make more of these. <laughs> Some of them are helping me, actually. Is that enough? I think that might be enough. Easy. They don't have crafting tables and shit in here. Oh my god, a golem! Buddy! Let me keep you captured in here. Be free, buddy! Help me destroy them. There's a few, like, outliers, like, still around here. They really like pumpkins for some reason. My buddy! Yay! Protect me, buddy! Hell yeah! Motherfucker. Not today, thank you.
I love him. Imagine mod Minecraft to put Asorb as the moon slash sun. That'd be funny. That'd be pretty cool, cool actually. What are th what's up with these Minecraft piglin thingies? At least you're friendly, I guess. Can I get arrow from you? Ow. I got one arrow. That didn't work. Oh my god! Let's get out of here. They infinitely respawn. I saved one guy, that's enough for me! Oh my god! We've come back victorious! We freed the Iron Golem, and we have raided the vill- the- not the village, the outpost thingy. And we got one iron in return. That's a lot of banners, man. Oh wait, can I do that thing? Is it still available in, like, Minecraft? Yeah! <laughs> I got the pasta head! Hey, Troshia, thank you for the two euro. Now we're just gonna keep playing like this. Give me that food. Hello, do you recognize me? I am, I am John Minecraft. Hello, sir. Is there anything the matter? Ah, still, still fucking. He does not care. I thought that it would like help me or something. Okay, what else should we do now? Maybe, okay, maybe, okay, you know what? I have an idea. Maybe... That outpost will actually help us find the Groomatorium. Maybe if we can just go really high up, no, actually this mountain is higher. Maybe if we just go really high up, we'll be able to find the Groomatorium. Somewhere around in the world. Like, being in that outpost over there at the top gave me the idea. Maybe we just need some elevation. Hi, Phil. I have just arrived. What are we doing? We're trying to find the Groomatorium. And I just found a cave. There could be some iron in there, but... I'll hold off for now. What the heck is the Groomatorium? Everyone that- everyone that reaches over 100k subscribers on YouTube knows what the Groomatorium is. There is more cows over there. But aside from that... Can't really see anything. Maybe if I blow the horn, the Groomatorium will appear to me? Nothing. Chat! I need some help. I've been trying for an hour to find the Groomatorium, and it's not here. Chat. Hey, chat! Hola, soy Felipe. Hey, Phil. Bienvenido. I've heard that if you made an F and F mod, you'll be guided to the Groomatorium. <laughs> that is also available, Fredbear. Hola, yo soy Fisnom. Puedes encontrar el Grumatorium? Oh, chat, what are you saying? Chat. Oh, chat, do you see the Grumatorium? Yo, you're cool. Just wanted to say that. Good luck on your quest. Thank you, Pillbug. Look to the left. Chat. Where is the Grumatorium? Can you point to it? 
Chat, do you see the groomatorium? I can't see it anywhere. It's not to my left or my right. Left! It's there! Oh this my is god! The episode I've ever seen. We have found the groomatorium! I can't believe it! Finally, all those Minecraft streams finally paid off! Now we just have to go visit and see what's up. I will bring some flowers as, like, a gift. Hopefully they will like this gift. Finally, all my efforts are paying off. We need to follow the path. There's a riot going on in the groomatorium? Oh no, we need to go inside. The groomatorium! It's here! I found it! Everyone, lock the doors! They're here to cancel us! Go inside! You! Get the fuck inside! We need to protect ourselves. Where's the raid coming from? Chat! We need to protect the groomatorium! Maybe if we got the... the golem, that would've actually been a, a little bit helpful. Oh god! They're here! What are you doing? Stop that! Stop that! Stop that! This is a place of business, sir! Got an emerald out of it. That's good. This is like caught zombies. We need to protect the groomatorium. Call the cops! The cops won't help us! Oh my god! Ah! I need to put my shield on. I can do it. I can save the groomatorium. Ow. Ow! It's the FBI! Ah! You can't take me! I've done nothing wrong! Where's the last one? Only one remaining. There we go! Come here, motherfucker! I know you're kind. Yeah! Wait, there's another one? <laughs> Fistnum is wick! Oh god. OH GOD! Barricade the doors! OH GOD! They're here! 
I will keep you safe, don't worry. I will need to do some property damage, but I will keep you safe, I promise. Oh god! That's terrifying! Oh my god, I got an axe! With this, I can turn the tables! Hold on, I need to find a station where I can mend this. Yes! I can save you now! Okay, I think we might be good. What's going on outside? Is anything the matter? No! We're protecting the crematorium right now. Do you have the outfit? Then fuck off. No shoes, no service. All right, we're almost there, chat. We need to deal with this one, with this one wave. Oh God, fuck off. What the hell's that noise? Oh my God, they brought the tanks and shit. Hello? They oh my god! We need to be very careful now. Oh! 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 We can't lose, chat. Not that we f finally found the gumatorium. The way you kept asking about finding the place reminded me of Dora the Explorer. So I'm now wondering, was Dora the first streamer? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, my weapon has been slain. Do you, can you guys help a little bit at least? No? <laughs> Dora is the first streamer. I need to kill that witch first. Yes! We witching! Is it okay if I can use your chests? There's also some food here. That's good. I'll put all of this in your chests for now. Only one remaining. Now we just need to kill the big guy. How long is this gonna take? Big guy. There he is! Oh my god! Thank you, destroyer. Thank you for the two dollars. We're doing it. Very slowly, but we're doing it. Just don't get too close. <laughs> Come here!
This buddy. Oh my god, through the window? This guy's busted. Almost there. And we got a saddle! Nice. Those are right. No, don't go inside! You dumb motherfucker! What are you doing, bro? Get in here! This guy does not know what he's doing. Oh god, here we go. Oh god, here we go! Last wave! Another one. These guys take fucking punishment. I need to get the witch. There's two witches? There's three witches. Stop gurgling. Okay, they've damaged themselves. Very good. Okay, very good. I right, we're almost out of access, though. In a minute! Kill. Two remaining. Look at that, look at that weird bitch. <laughs> Don't just sit there and stare at me like that. God damn it. Oh, there's another one. Oh no! Oh no! Uh poisoned. Bitch. Colin underscore. Get the fuck out of my house. Finally. Thank you, Azazel, for the nine months. Uh, uh. Another one? Is this fucking infinite? Final wave for real this time, and the zombies are getting in on it. Oh god, did the guy just leave? Oh god, did he leave? Why would you leave? It's safe in here. We need way more access.
You guys okay? Oh god. Who are those guys? Uh uh. Oh my god, what are those? Oh! Ah, oh, we need to retreat! Retreat! Oh! Need to return. The groomatorium has fallen! The FBI has taken it! Oh my god, look at that. They're going at it. Okay, I need to retrieve my, my tools and go into a, like a like a panic bunker. There's so many of them. Okay. As long as we can get inside and go into a- into the grooming panic bunker, we'll be fine. Get inside, get inside, get inside, get inside. Bye-bye, piggy. Hello there- hello there, doingus. Hello there, Bungus. Okay. We need to get our stuff and fucking move. We will use this as our base of operations now. Uh, okay. Uh, give me one of these. Every Minecraft YouTuber knows that to escape the FBI, you need to go into the panic bunker. Oh my god, you are also in the panic bunker? Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, we need to grab the thing again. Actually, yeah. Give me that. Okay, we're safe inside of here. Oh my god, that looks so fucking... That sounds so fucking malicious! Alright. Now, chat. To be able to an access the panic bunker properly, we need to solve a combination puzzle. These levers are attached to a very complicated sequence of redstone contraptions. We need to find the code so that we can escape into the bunker. What? Fuck off! I'm currently being raided! One, two, three, four? Okay, hold on. We'll do it later, let me deal with the fucking FBI raid! Okay. I don't think I can solve this combination until we talk to the... To the people at the Grammatorium. Oh god, yeah, I need, I need the combination. Oh god, and for the combination, we need to actually beat these guys. I guess we'll have to just go at it. Okay, that's good. I don't know what that is! Oh! But at least we can just respawn inside and get our stuff back. Back to the grindstone. I guess just don't attack those weird robe guys. Okay, that works. Fuck off. Weird ghost pricks. Okay. 
What are you? Oh my god. Okay, they're dying. Good, 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 good. Is there any food that I can get from you guys? Oh, sneak attack from behind. Or at least those should leave me alone for now. Give me some of that raw cod. We can do this, chat. You and me. We can do it, chat. Hold on. I need better music for this, actually. Let's go! Gotta let it out, gotta let it out, gotta let it out, gotta let it out! Oh God! That's a cheap shot! Cheap! Got a totem! Hell yeah! Come here, motherfucker! Ah! 
Oh, what? Ah! Almost there. I don't even have my shield anymore. Get your crossbow, Phil, but I don't have any arrows. Oh, there we go, my pants. Yeah! Oh! Okay, bare knuckle fist fight, motherfucker! Don't attack them! Oh! What? Another? What do you mean another one? Oh man, fuck that! Wait, what do you mean one of them instantly died? Bad Omen 4, let's go! Okay, I'm tired, man. Wait, is it decreasing? Battle of Waco 1993 colorized. Are they dying outside? Where are they? Oh huh, well, I guess they fucked off. That's nice. Hey, Piggy. How's it going, buddy? Is it over? I think so. It should be. Even though it says raid at the top right of the screen. At the top, top middle of the screen. I don't really know why, like... I don't really know why they would have it like, like that. Hmm. Did they fall into the lava? Maybe. Hmm. Oh well, at least I think we have reached a peaceful resolution with the FBI. Why? Do you want to join in? Yeah. All right, everybody. Azazel's Azazel's joining me in the groomatorium. Azazel, yeah. you want to groom some kittens with me? Yeah. We have kittens in the groomatorium. Yeah. All right, join in. Hello there! Hi! Oh my god, you're so loud! Hello! Hello, Azazel! Welcome to the Minecraft stream! Hello! How's it going? You like my outfit? It's actually pretty cute. Hold on, let me- let me adjust you... in here. Chat, we boring! There we go. And I am gonna share my screen with you. Minecraft is gate. Hey. So we have, uh, we just survived a round of several raids that the FBI did against the Grumatorium, but now they seem to have left us alone to our own devices, which is very nice. <sighs> it's time to groom. <laughs> Remember, kids. Hey, Chef Torte, thank you for the super chat. Remember, kids, if someone calls you to pay play Minecraft with them, that's no good. Keep yourself safe. So now that we are actually here, for some reason the the raid logo at the top is not like it's not going away. You know how to get that off the screen? You have to complete the raid. But it's not triggering. 
Hmm. Why she left the fucking house? Maybe this is a fucking trailer for Raid Shadow Legends. Yo, this show is sponsored. Explore and fight. Choose your champions. All right, so what we need to do now is... I guess, now that we have been left alone, we can actually start grooming. Yay! Well, these assholes keep getting stuck in this particular spot, and I don't know why. All right, everybody! It's time to groom! Hooray! <laughs> well, you sound so confused! I... I don't know. All right. So now that we are properly inside of the groomatorium, we have some tools available to us. And we have... The Grooming Station, recently added to Minecraft 1.25.8. With this, yeah. we will be able to groom... our pets. So we have a Super Mutt, an English Cocker Spaniel, a Sable Husky, a black white husky, a Sheltie, an American shorthair, a calico, a brown oh. tuxedo munchkin, and a black tuxedo. So I want a calico calico. Let's see. We will be calico. able to we will be able to use this grooming station to be able to groom the different pets that we have in this new Minecraft update. Let me just try to find the calico. I love calico! There we go. This hi. is our calico pet! Hi, hi, hello! Oh my gosh! He's so it's cute! Kitchen. kitchen! We are fi we are finally have our Minecraft kit. Ignore what's happening on the window. Don't worry about that. I finally found me, Chad. We have our Minecraft kitten over here. We can make it do tricks and shit. Do I have enough cod to be able to feed it? I don't think it's he is, as he is interested on that right now. All right, chat. To be able to claim this kitten as our in, as our property, we need to name them. What should the name of our first kitten be? I know, I know, Spoingus. Spoingus? No, Spoingus is already here. Look. It's Dingus. Oh, that's Doingus. That's Boongus. It's, yes, we need Spoingus. Specifically Spoingus? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. All right, let's try to name our Minecraft kitten. I love Spoingus. We will go into here. Thank you. Hey, David Baron. So what is Hi, David Baron. We're grooming kittens in Minecraft, David Baron. Look, I have a grooming Thanks. station right here. Thanks God, not on your server. Is there a problem? Oh uh, no. Okay. <laughs> we're just, we're, we're just, you know, this a simple Minecraft single player world where nothing bad is happening. The FBI and zombies may be at our door, but we have our kitten. We are safe inside. And we have our grooming station, so that we can, like, give this kitten some proper, like, care and attention. We need to, like, trim the paws, we need to, like, give it a little hat. So, but before we do that, we need to name our Minecraft kitten. Spoingus! Spoingus? Spoingus! What about you, chat? What do you think? What Chad will have Spoingus! What should the name of our first Minecraft kitten be? <gasps> Wait, I know! I had this idea to call my real cat, but mm -hmm. what if we call this kitten a chat? A chat? Chat! Okay, I'm seeing Sprigatito from that doggo. I'm seeing Spoingus from C126. Felicity from Steam Laser. Benedict from Oct- I kind of actually like Benedict. A I shitten! Do, we should do a poll. Are there any basset hounds? Okay, so the available uh, pets that we can groom in Minecraft right now are a sable husky, a sheltie, a black and white husky, English cocker spaniel, black tuxedo, brown tuxedo munchkin. Oh my god, a munchkin! I love munchkins. We already have calico. 
Cheeto. And an American short short hair. S somebody in chat said Cheeto. Cheeto! Yes! I love that. It's nice to finally get to the grooming. Right, In chat? all caps, you know, Cheeto. Grooming the pets? Wait, what did you think we were doing? Yeah, we finally... We were finally able to find the groomatorium, and now we're now we can groom our cats. Cheeto. Cheeto. I love Cheeto. There we go. Yay! Let's fucking go, Chad. Now that Cheeto is in our possession, we will be able to groom them by putting some by putting the pet item in here. And we will be oh able to give it like colors and like uh, hats and little outfits for them to wear. Chad, this is law accurate. Here you go, Cheeto. Have a raw cod. It will help you. It has a lot of vitamins in it. This is so law accurate. All right, before we before we groom Cheeto, we need to do a maybe a maybe a dog. I do like an English Cocker Spaniel. It's a pretty good name. Hello there! Oh my gosh! Look at them, they're so cute! Alright, how do we name, name this? Uh... Oh, uh, Sam. Sam with sausage. Puppy? The dog, what the dog doing? Okay, what's the name of it? Selvis Sausage. I have no idea how to pronounce what you're saying. Sam? Sam? With, with Sausage. With Sausage. Yes! Susie Bell says, can you name one Maynard for me? I will, thank you, Susie Bell. Sam with Sausage. Actually, Sam, we should- you got the sausage, Sam. You look so happy, Sam. Sam looks so happy. Look at them! Ah! <laughs> Very nice. We should probably let the the dogs in as well, because like they are like out in the, into the rain. That's not good for them. I'll Come let here. The dogs out. Woof, 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 woof. So we got yeah. There you go. Clean yourselves off. Don't worry, you're, you will all get groomed in here, and you will have a good life. Hey, Doingus. Cheeto. Sandwich Sausage. Bungus. Alright, the next one on the list should be... I kinda wanna do a Munchkin can. Munchkin! Munchkin! Oh, look at the little stubby legs! Oh my god! Oh, the, these guys want attention. Jesus. This All right. one is Splinkus. But no, Susie Bell wanted to name one Maynard for, like, for them. Oh, okay. The next one would be Splinkus. We also need Chad. This one will be card, called Maynard. Very amazing. Yeah! My old childhood cat, Maynard! Hell yeah! Bungus, Doingus, Sam with Sausage, Cheeto, and Maynard. Cheeto! Next one is a black and white husky. <gasps> look at them! Oh my gosh, they look so goofy! I love huskies because they look like psychopathic with their giant blue eyes. Yeah. I like that. These dogs are very cute. Is there any pit bulls? We sadly do not have pit bulls. What? The oh. mod that I installed does not come with pit bulls. Oh. All right, last one should be Spoingus, right? I love Spoingus. Oh, we can't name any more. What? We need some uh, levels. I guess we will have to kill the rest of these guys. Actually, can I give the horse a saddle? Oh. You have to, like, no, no, like, uh, get your hand clear. Like, get nothing in your hand and click right, right click with an empty hand. Don't crouch. Oh. 
Oh. You have to you have to tame it first. Okay. I'm I'm currently taming my Minecraft horse. Mm -hmm. Oh. Try again. Oh. Try again. Try again. Almost there. Oh. You getting there? You yeah, sure do you know a lot about grooming. Okay, now I mean again. I do gr get grooming a lot in the internet. Anyway, uh right click a horse and now you have a horsey. Hell yeah. We have groomed a horse. Ow! Hey. Ow! Hold on, I need to get the leash off. I forgot I uh, I forgot like that there's a leash in here. We also need to name the horse. Any ideas Pita. for the horse name, Chad? Oh, I I know. Pita. The horse is here. Pita. Oh, but can, we, can we name him? Can we name him Bojack Horseman? Bojack. Back in the 90s, I was in a very famous TV show. We need to, we need to get some a, a little bit more experience. Nice. Okay, we need a little bit more experience, so you guys are gone. Sorry, there can o only be one groomer in this house. And that's me! I think I'm not getting experience. We need to destroy every single one of them. Juan! For some reason, people want Juan. <gasps> yes! We love Juan! There can be only one! Name the pity princess, please. Name the pity princess, please. <gasps> I love princess. We only waiter. have... We, we need one more level to be able to... Waiter, waiter. More toddlers, please. We need one more level. How do we get a level? Hold on, maybe I can go outside just for a little bit. The, the outside world is dangerous, chat. Yeah, it's dangerous because you have micro. Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Ah! <laughs> No! No! Wait, who died? I think one of the I think one of the wolves. No! 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 Boingus! Wait, where's Boingus? Oh wait, open the chat logs. No! no! The outside world is dangerous to us. We need to retreat. Wait. What? Aren't we missing one cat? Oh, horse! <laughs> the horse is here. No, we have Aww. no. We have the we have Sam with sausage. We have Maynard. We have Cheeto, and then we have the unnamed wolf. Stop it! Stop mocking me from the distance. He wants to get. Do you? Excuse me, sir. Do you want to get groomed? No. Then get the fuck out of my establishment. Yeah, go away, you monster. No grooming for you. What? The horse is here. Yes, it is, Azazel. Hey! Alright. <laughs> PETA, the Ravager, is here. Alright. Hell, the Ravager is here. Alright, now that we have been left in peace... Hold on a second. It's time, chat. Play the music. We need to use our grooming station. Yeah. 
It's time to groom. Yes! It's time to groom. Yes. 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 What do you want? Hat, collar, boots? I want red boots on the grooming station. We need to groom. Oh. Oh. Oh, well, whatever. We need to reopen that again. Hold on a second. We need to get back. Back to the past. Back Samurai to Jack. We start, we start the thing. Well. Anyway, when I was 13, I got groomed for the first time. It was such an experience. With what brush? Uh, like, you know those, like, brushes with, like, it's like really soft and like feels like actual abrasion, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this way. Let me adjust this. Whenever I get groomed, like I I love like the feel of the brush on my hair. It just kinda makes me sleepy, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, Grooming part two. Now what we need to do is put every single one of these back in their little items. Wait, where is the where is the bone for these guy for the for these other guys? No. Get back in there. No, not you. Not you. There we go. Where is your bone? Oh, there we go. There's your bone. Maybe? It's time to grow, chat. Gotta be honest, this mod is a little bit finicky. Mincecraft cancelled this bit faster than a YouTuber getting caught on Discord. <laughs> By the way, he's still there! S sir, if you wanna get groomed, just ask. You don't have to be so fucking creepy about it. Well, don't really know what else to do. It's time to groom. Except, oh. we need to go into the basement. Oh no! It's time. It's time to discover the secrets. Of the groomatorium. <gasps> I will leave these here. These people, these people do not deserve the secrets. I think they will follow you. They'll probably follow me. Yeah. 
All right, chat. It's time. We have killed every single other groomer to get to this point. To become the ultimate groomer. We need to become the ultimate groomer by finding the secret of the groomatorium. This guy agrees. So, Azazel, we tried to go into this room before, but we couldn't open up the doors because this door is actually blocked by a super secret combination made with the most advanced redstone contraptions ever created by mankind. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So we need to figure out the combination to be able to get into this door. Two, four, one, three. Two, four, one, three. Oh well. Doesn't work. Yes, we tried. Chat. Hey, chat. Hola. Soy Fisnum. Soy Fisnum. Bienvenidos a Minecraft Puzzle número dos. Is uh, there. One, do, two, hey, chat. Three, four. Do you see a way to be able to open up this door? Chat. One, two, three, four. It does not work. Somebody in chat said four, one, two, three. Four, one. It's two, no. idiot. One, four, one, two, three. It doesn't work. I Hola, can... soy Fisnum. ¿Cómo can... podemos you... abrir Wait. la puerta? You have a lever. A lever? You next... you have... Yeah, you can put it next to the door. Oh! <gasps> hey! Oh my God! Work Hell yeah! Holy shit! We did it! And now we have arrived into the deepest depths of the groomatorium. Oh my god! I wonder what awaits us here. This Look is some kind of screen. Room. I wonder what's inside of here. This seems to be some kind of screen. How can we turn the screen on, I wonder? Hola! Soy Azazel! Can you point chat where we have to press to chat. Uh, turn on the screen? Can you point towards the button? That may help us figure out how to turn on the screen. <laughs> no hablo español. Maybe it's on the left side of the screen? On the left side? Maybe. Hey, Lazy NGBot, thank you for the two euro. On the right? Oh. Oh my god! Oh my god! What's gonna happen if I press this button? Oh, it's turning on! It's turning on! We need to get into position. Hold on. Okay, I'm ready. Are you ready? Yes! Yes, yes? I'm ready for- yes, yes. What could be inside of the screen? There is nothing quite as adorable as a litter of fluffy eight-week-old Maine Coon kittens. Oh my god! We're starting the grooms off today with a sweet little female. That's so cute! Aww! Hello, little miss. Kitty! Kitty! Introducing these kittens to their first groom at such a young age will oh, help to ensure their success groomed being groomed as adults. Time, just like me. If they get groomed at an early age, I do my best to keep them calm while it is best for their future grooming sessions. Warm, soapy water. Aww. Buddy is the stud to this she litter. Says, 
If you haven't seen his video, I've linked it in the description for you. Look at a little guy. Oh my god. Aww. Oh These kittens God. are tiny, and they are a bit nervous. So I will be grooming them entirely on my lap today. I am using my extra small happy hoodie for their teeny tiny little heads, and my small handheld dryer to get them dry. Oh, look! He looks so, he looks so, like, eepy. He's gonna fall asleep at any second. Oh, he's such an eeper. What an eeper. Aww. They're so well behaved while they're getting groomed. Well done, pretty missies. Oh, you like to chin scratch. Aww. Next up, we have a solid white male. <gasps> oh my god, look at him! Oh, and he has two different Snowball! Meow. <laughs> guys talking? Oh my god! So cute, so fluffy. Oh my god! Okay. Oh, he look, he's gonna fall asleep while getting like 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 cleaned and stuff. The Maine Coon is known as one of the largest domestic Gato. cat breeds. Gato. They got their name because they originated in the U.S. state of Maine. Oh, poor little soul. Aren't Maine Coons like a really huge pain in the ass to clean because they have like very big first like coats? Yes, yes, yes. Like these guys like literally cost like hundreds of dollars to maintain per month because like you have like when you go to the groomer, like they have to put in the work to be able to make sure that their like fur is like cleaned up even like the this smallest pores. Mark. And the cool part of their yes, yes. came heart, from the markings on their tail. Toxic heart, colon underscore fi toxic heart. So they are so mature for their age. Yeah, look at how like they just like sit down and like calmly like get groomed. Like I personally, I think that like small kittens like this would just freak out. But they're just like sitting around and having a good time. This one's really good. Yeah. Amazing. Cute. <laughs> Last but not least, we have a sweet little male. Such a cutie patootie. Such a cutie patootie. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Aww. Aww. <laughs> oh, she's so nervous. As I said, why do cats dislike water so much? I just feel so bad in the skin. Plus, it's usually really cold. Though. Right. Okay. Okay, I have to rinse you now, and you're probably going to off. Out. These kittens aren't dirty, and they don't need a bath. But the reason for their groom today is to be proactive about the future. I'm definitely gonna need to blow dry. Oh my God! Look at the little tips of the of the ears here. Yeah, like they have like a little. Uh, I usually make guns have it, uh, since they were bred from, like, uh, what those, like, animals, like, call, it's like a big cat with, like, little tips on the ears. A tiger? No, tigers don't have it. A caracal. Maybe, oh, I didn't remember the exact name. Hmm. Linux. A lynx. Linux. Lynx. <laughs> Look at this guy. This guy looks so fucked up. He look. He looks like he's like coming home after being drunk at a party. Okay, it's okay. Oh, there may be a time in your cat's life where they require a bath. A dubious little creature getting up to mischief. This is no good. The creature is devilish in nature. Yucky. Whether they got into something, this is they have a skin no infection good. of some kind, or they are old and can no longer clean themselves. Aww. Being proactive about grooming at a young age can prevent a cat from being very reactive as an adult, making the situation far less stressful for both yourself and your cat. I know it was very scary. Oh, look at the little tips of the little little ears. 
So the argument is not whether or not you believe cats need a bath, but rather whether or not you're interested in fighting a demon with five defense mechanisms or a laid-back pet that has been properly desensitized to grooming. They weren't overly interested in treats, but I did have some playtime. Look at them! them. Just the two of them. We can I make can it if you try. try. Just the two of them. And a little photo shoot. They're adorable. I wish Thank I you all so much for own. watching. I hope you enjoyed these three fluff balls of serotonin. Aww. Thank you, girl with the cat. I mean, not girl with the cats. Girl with the dogs. Uh, for those that do not know, this is girl with dogs on YouTube. This is one of my favorite channels, actually. Like, I'm subscribed to them because, like... She just, like, does this all the time. Like, just, like, takes in, like, cats and dogs and just, like, grooms them. And it's, like, it's super fucking cute. It's the best. Anyways, let's get into the next video. What is yeah! this? <laughs> Hold on a yes! second. Yes! So this is where Major Klug lives. I grew my... Never mind. We're not going to do that one. Yeah! Squish that cat. All you need to know is to squish that cat. And you just gently squish them. That's not comfortable for the cat or that safe, to be honest with you. You can just throw a towel on the cat again, squish her with a towel. What you can do is scoop her up, a little yeah. football tree, just like that. Butt in your hand and just squish her tight to your body. Just squish them really tight to your body. You don't really have to worry about hurting a cat. You know, just squishing them against your bodies. And Aww. there we go. We just made friends with this wonderful little cat. Look at that face. Look at that face. Aww. Squishing is your best friend when you're dealing with a cat. You basically just lean forward, squish them nice and tight. And again, I'm just squishing them into myself. We always squish, squish that cat. <laughs> okay, and this actually has to do with dogs, not just cats. This is by Dogs by Logan. Hey y'all, so I had these two odd set of siblings come Hi, in today, girly. and this is the full bath and groom process. Hell yeah! Grooming! 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 Getting right into it, yeah. This is Lily and yeah. Ollie. Lily is the German Shepherd, and then Ollie is the Jack Russell Terrier. Actually, last time when they came in, I accidentally called Ollie a um, rat terrier, which is just <laughs> a whole different breed, and that was my bad, Ollie. Oh, look at the look at the perked up ears. So I first start by using my bather box. That's what I have in my hand right now. It mixes water and shampoo together, and I use this before I put on, like, the shampoo. They look so sad. No, they look kind of, like, calm, in my opinion. They're probably gone yes, through this process, like, over and over again. Poo from the bottles. Uh, usually, uh, is... usually when you uh, go uh, to groomer with your dog, so mm -hmm. it's better to use... It's been and always is the same rumor, so dogs get used to the scent and the human itself. Aww, but so like they get used to the people working in there. Yeah, for example, this guy, I've been uh, following this guy for like a year or so. And like some of his clients actually moved there with him just because uh, the dogs got used to this specific human. So some of his clients moved to LA. So, uh, Aww. Continue grooming my dogs. That's adorable. Look at this cute, adorable face. Oh my god, I love Ollie so much, but he'll probably never love me just because he loves his mom too much. Um, but maybe one day I'll get like even a kiss from him. That would be amazing. Because right now, every time Ollie comes in, he's kind of Throws just the like bottle. a cold statue that can't show any affection, but we'll get there. Because Ollie is short haired, I washed Lily first because she just has more coat to put shampoo all over her. Also, because shampoo works over time, so I want to get Lily nice and scrubbed up so then it can break down the dirt, and then I'll wash Ollie. Lily is a big dog, so it doesn't just. Look at how calm they are. Like, they, it, it really feels like they're just completely trusting the human to do whatever. Like, do you think that when, like, dogs and cats get groomed, they don't really actually understand what's going on? They just trust people to do whatever ritual they're doing to make them feel better. Take one yeah, bottle of shampoo yeah. to completely get her scrubbed down. When I'm washing uh, these bigger dogs and a lot of dogs, honestly, I like to go. Like imagine like, that trust, you know, it was like yeah. amazing. I, I, I fucking love pets, man. They're the best. Circular yeah. scrubbing motion. 
Oh, and I do put cotton in their ears, even though most of the time the dogs just shake them off anyways, and then it's just like a never-ending battle of trying to put the cotton in the dog's ear. A funny story, though, as I'm washing this dog's butt, is when I was younger but. and people would ask me where I work, I used to be always so self-conscious about telling them where I work. Because for some reason, little Logan was embarrassed to say that I, like, wash dogs all day. Aw, come to on. to be fair, when I did tell people that I, like, am a dog bather and I wash dogs, they'd always give me, like, oh, so, like, you have to scrub the dog's butt and everything? That's hey, Twitch, you think for the $10? I've been a big fan, watching a lot of you but often have a hard time sticking on live streams. I appreciate you and your work, and I hope that you're doing well. Thank you. I really appreciate that message, Twitchy. I mean, you know, it is kind of weird, though, because, like, wouldn't you, wouldn't you be proud of, like, the work that you're doing? Because, like, you're not doing anything wrong. You're just, like, helping these pets to be clean. Like, you know how society is. For example, if I will say, Oh, I work in an advertisement and management, people's gonna say, Oh, so you're like lying to people? So you're like, Yeah, but people? if I tell people, Hey, I'm a groomer, like, no one's gonna like actually bat an eye on that. They're gonna be like, Oh my god, you're a groomer? Can you like, can I bring my dog over so that like he can like get his coat cleaned and like, like, you know, like brushed and shit? I have such big call for society, actually. Like, I like okay, dude. If like if I didn't go to college for like computer engineering and like I didn't like go into this programming thing and become a streamer and stuff like that, like I would probably be a groomer because I love dogs and I love cats and I I don't have the stomach to be a veterinarian because I when you're a veterinarian you actually have to put down dogs that are very ill. So, like, I think being a groomer is, like, the next best, best thing because you're actually helping yeah, these yeah, animals. But, but listen, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I understand your position. But yes. The thing is, people are not as accepting as you wish them to feel. For example, if I'm gonna say, oh, uh, I, I like cleaning. I clean people's houses. Right. And, like, people usually not go that deep, quote-unquote. On the jobs, they usually say, oh, so you're like, right, you clean those houses, you'll do like dirty job, right? That is a respectable job. It is, I know, but again, many people do not go in that deep into like others, because mostly, like, most of the people are actually really self-focused, so like, they prefer to say, oh, you are that? That's cool. But my job, though... Janitors and plumbers and groomers and all the people that are cleaning the streets and are cleaning the, the buildings and they're cleaning the pets that we have have the most important jobs ever. If your plumber didn't help you with your clogged up toilet, you would not be able to shit inside of your own house. People need to stop making fun of janitor janitorial jobs and like fast food jobs because those things are like the corner store cornerstone of society it's i mean yes but again i'm just answering your question for example i do respect people and i uh try to leave five star reviews in like restaurants i go to mm -hmm. so like you know the the like workers especially like uh the, like you know those teens who like just tried to work for college yes like, I usually try to not to be rude to them and like exactly position. never but, be rude to service workers. You don't know what the fuck they're going through. They yeah, deserve respect. Again, again, many people do not go that deep because many people are just self like self uh centered. So yeah, the Karens so of the world. Yep, so I'm saying it how it is. So don't worry, Chet. You can be a groomer if you want to. Just make sure that you clean those dogs and cats very thoroughly. Seems so gross. You don't so have to be embarrassed, me, man. It's a good job. It's respectable. About my job, I just said that I worked with animals. So I did already rinse off all the shampoo and stuff, and that was me applying the conditioner. I make sure to get the conditioner nice on Lily's booty cheeks because that's honestly where they're the hairiest. The booty cheeks and chesticles are always the hairiest on these dogs, so that's where I use the conditioner the most. And poor Ollie, he just does not want to be seen. Like, he literally is hiding behind Lily, does not want to be in any single shot. 
He's definitely the lovable side character while Lily is the main character. And y'all, I don't is know- Why hiding underneath this bigger dog? Aw, poor, 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 poor little thing. Why I wore sweatpants to work. I always wear shorts, but today I was like, you know, poor it's a Ollie. Chilly outside. I'm going to wear pants. And that was the worst decision because I just got soaking wet. Sweatpants do not dry fast. And so Lily and Ollie's hair are still on my pants as I'm speaking right now. When I'm done getting them all nice and toweled off, I put Ollie in a cage dryer and then I use the high velocity dryer on Lily. I do eventually go back to Ollie for the high velocity, but I just do Lily first because, again, she just has so much coat. The blow dryer- That's, like, if you were a dog, that would probably feel so fucking good. ...is actually, like, one of the most important parts of this whole process because I'm getting out all her dead undercoat, and no matter how many tools and- Make sure to clean after yourself and pick up any garbage you see laying around. Yes! Whenever I get like a like a can or whenever I get like a receipt, I always make sure to put it in my pocket and then put it in the trash can later. Speaking of crimes, mm -hmm. I just got back from talking to a lawyer about fighting a false sexual assault claim. Wish me luck, guys. Good luck, Rowan. Hopefully everything goes well for you. Products that I use, the, the blow dryer is going to be the most efficient at doing that. As you can see, Lily's hair is going Look at all that all hair over our facility, and y'all, this took me so long to clean up because it just goes in every single nook and cranny, and it takes forever. I do wear a mask when I'm doing these blowouts, so the hair doesn't go straight into my lungs. Um, someone you can see the camera getting like completely blurred by like the pieces of hair flying out. She recommended me wearing like a beekeeper's hat, <laughs> and I think I'm gonna get one of those, even though it might look a little ridiculous. I always use my secret sauce to start on the Look at that little thing. And silky spirits, but it helps She's so the nervous. Hair and it makes the coat so shiny. The owner's just go crazy for it. But seriously, Look at this him. product is a game changer. I'm not even sponsored by it. I just love it so much. It works so well, and I've gotten so many compliments Aww. on how shiny the dog's coat is. Since Ali is a Jack Russell, I use this Equi Groomer tool because his skin is thinner. And this tool isn't as aggressive as some of our other tools. I wasn't. Neon the cartoon donates two dollars and says, "Fun fact: My mom actually grooms dogs in our garage." Hell yeah! Oh is it like God. a? Is it like a local business, or does she just do it as a hobby? Mm -hmm. Either way, hell yeah! Susie Bell donates five dollars and says, "My cat Maynard loved the water and would purr whenever he got a bath." Aww. Joking when I told you guys that Ollie stands still like a statue. Like, I'm doing his nails and he doesn't move a single muscle. Hell Plus, yeah, he Ollie. Has white nails, so it makes it so much easier for me to see the quick and not take them short where he bleeds. When it does end up happening where I quick the dog, that's what it's called. I love it when the dogs give you the side eye like that. When you get too close to the dog's. <laughs> look, at, look at that little guy. He's so awkward. I love him. Quick. I use this yellowish powder called Quick Stop and it does exactly that it just stops the bleeding super fast yo chat actually i have a bit i have a, an idea right now like can you guys use like if you are live on the chat right now and you want to show off your pets don't show off your face don't show off your face anonymity online is incredibly important please don't show off your face but if you have a dog or a cat or a pet that you want to show off on stream Go on Twitter and go hashtag uh, Fistream, P-H-I-S-T-R-E-A-M, Fistream, and put the pic pictures of your dogs and cats and we're going to react to them on stream. Wait, should we do the, uh, the new tag for that? Uh, no, no, just hashtag Fistream. Like, I, that, that is like the general purpose tag for anything that has relates to the current stream that's going on right now. Uh, I will, we will finish this video, and then we will go on Twitter, and, Hooray! like, look at some pets, uh, by chat. I'd love to see them. It's not that big of a deal at all when this does So, happen. remember, hashtag Fistream. Fi pets? Well, I, I don't think that many people are gonna wanna, like, show them off all the time, so just pets! use- Pets! <laughs> pets! Fets. No, 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 no. It's hashtag Fistream, and we will go scroll through some of them. Uh, before the stream you is over. How much someone litters until you work at a gas station. Trust me. Oh, pyro train thing. Like, I remember when I worked at, like, Walmart. I worked at, like, the electronics section of Walmart for, like, six months to do, like, my job certification. And, like, the amount of 
bullshit that I would have to clean up after kids come in into the toy aisle of the Walmart. Like, they would leave fucking open sodas. They would leave, like, like cheese on the fucking floor. They would leave gum everywhere underneath the, the, the shelves. Like, they would take a toy and just, like, throw it across the aisle. It's like, it was nightmarish. A-holes out there will say, if you don't study, you will end up like a garbage guy when in reality, garbage workers are important and gets the money. Yes. Exactly, Angry Destroyer. Yes, yes. Do you know any clowns with active rest warrants now? Uh, exactly one, China Ball. Also, yeah, you're completely fucking right, Angry Destroyer, because, like... There's this old saying about plumbers. Plumbers, if you if you work as a plumber, you will never have to worry about not having a job ever in the rest of your life because plumbing jobs are necessary, constant, and will never there will, there is no AI. There is there's no generative AI that will take away the job of a plumber. And no one else wants to do it. So, th you can charge whatever, because it's an essential service if your plumbing gets fucked up. No one wants to- no one knows how to do it properly themselves, so they just call a plumber, and like, you will just get constant, like, consistent jobs. If you think that, oh no, I have to go to college to be able to, like, earn a living, that's bullshit. You're being tricked by higher education, like, shittery. If anything, the higher education market is currently being assaulted by AI and all those people that said, like, oh, AI is going to take my job and stuff like that. Just try to find a job that will be able to sustain you in the future and then have enough time to focus on your hobbies and be happy like that. That's my suggestion, at least. Ben, especially when the dog's nails are black or the dog's quick is very long, it's really easy to quick a dog because it's hard to tell where the quick starts. I tell owners to just keep their dogs off concrete for a little bit because it heals in the blink of an eye. But if the dogs are like consistently scraping at the concrete, that a little, oh my god, look at that little bow! Little bit, oh. and the quick I gave Ollie that blue bow tie, and of course he has to match with his blue sister, bow tie. So we'll see that later in the video. But again, I start with my secret sauce on Lily. It was kind of a mistake for me doing Ollie first because normally I do Lily first. And Lily is just so attached and protective over Ollie that anytime Ollie did literally anything, Lily had to be involved and she was like barking and trying to jump Aww. off the table. So note to self, do Lily first and then do Ollie. I do go back to the Equi Groomer on more sensitive areas on Lily, like the ears or the legs or the butt. This tool but. doesn't have any sharp edges, but the downside to that is it doesn't really get to like the bottom of her undercoat. So even though I don't really like this tool much because of what it can potentially do to the dog skin, I use this Ferminator tool on the thicker areas of her coat. It is like razor. What's the breed of this dog, by the way? Like, he's and so familiar. German Shepherd. German, German Shepherd. Shepherd. They're so fucking cool. There's on it, so it's sharp. Really likes German it's not going to hurt the dog. If and she fucking hates fucking, uh, what the, uh, like, she fucking hates small dogs. Like, because, mm. uh, when she was younger, she had to foster a dog to, like, help family members. And, like, this dog was annoying, living here <laughs> everywhere, shitting on the carpet. And every time when I behave bad, she called me, like, oh, you, like, like, she called me a specific name for this dog. Because, like, I was behaving the same as this dog. Like, I was leaving my stuff everywhere. <laughs> I, was, I was, uh, like, throwing my food on, uh, carpet. Like, so this is why my mom really, really liked German Shepherds. Hey, Angry Destroy, I think of the five dollars. Awesome, Madden Sky here. I see legit shit on the bathroom's walls at Walmart. Bathrooms Ew! And empty stolen merch. Ew! Pee-pee poo-poo! Ew! Ew! Yeah, that's actually kind of accurate to my experience as well. Walmarts are fucking disgusting, dude. If you're using And then guess what? Hey, hey, Azzy. Mm -hmm. Guess what happened to my job at Walmart? Like I, I did six months to be able to do my certification for my college, right? Mm -hmm. Guess what happened immediately after my six months were over? Uh the Walmart got closed and everyone got fired and this was with a good ending. No, the Walmart didn't close, but every single co-worker that I had there got 
fired because there was drama about one of the managers actually misusing funds and, like, actively doing sales and discounts inside of the Walmart, but never told any of the customers so that she would be able to buy all the stuff at discount. And she was offering all those discounts to the co-workers. So the discounts never went to the actual uh, to the actual customers. It was only going to her and the co-workers that she liked. So literally everyone in that Walmart got fucking sacked after I left. Jesus Christ. That's awesome though, because that means that I didn't get fired because I didn't get to be part of that weird bullshit with the manager. Well, first of all, it means that manager didn't like you way much. No, no definitely not, because I would have a hundred percent. I'm a snitch. I would have a hundred percent snitched on that. And second of all, I feel bad for all the people who got fired for like, no reason. Yeah, sadly. I mean, they they went scorched earth on that one. Like, I went back like after a month of that job, I went back to that Walmart, and it was completely new people. And the problem is, everyone was complaining because no one knew how to work the cashiers. The, the 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 cash registers, and and like everything everything was completely new, so like they were fucking up all over. So everyone was frustrated with the new people that were sent into work. Y'all ain't ready for this. At hmm? my one job at a Walgreens during a closing shift, someone had a miscarriage in the woman's restroom. Oh! Cleaning company to take care of it. Truly horrid. God damn, boo! I, <laughs> we're sharing our nightmare stories on retail, I guess. What the fucking hell? Jesus fucking Christ, that poor do woman. I have, do I have any stories? Well, uh, like, since I, it was not my job, but since my mother is actually a teacher, mm -hmm. one of her jobs actually, uh, I was like helping her, time to time, you know, like, like babysit the class, like, a full of people, you know, or like, you know, uh, sometimes I've been like, Oh, hey, uh, can I help you with, like, those papers? Mm hmm And, like, uh, <laughs> one day, uh, we have, like, school, and it have several floors. And I've been babysitting, like, the fourth grade, I believe. Right. Um, they took the fucking table, right? Okay. The, the entire fucking table, I threw it out of the fucking window. The entire table? Yes. That's like, a strong I fucking child, Jesus! No, oh, there were several children. Wait, did they all crowd around it like fucking Pikmin and threw it off the fucking window? Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> they Pikmin that yeah, shit off the fucking window. Liquor store and once yeah, I was like, place. oh yeah, yeah. the fuck the I supposed to do with that? Oh, Jesus, back room. That sounds awful. Thank you for the $5. Like had a lady try to steal to an alcohol bottle while I was on training period back in middle school. She got caught though cause the store was small now. Yeah. But in, in Walmart's, Alyssa, like, stealing happens constantly and the workers don't give a shit. They you just see some guy grabbing. Like, if you really think that, if you become paranoid about, like, stealing on a Walmart, like, none of the employees give a shit. Because it's not like that it's gonna come off their paycheck, you know? So, like... People constantly try to walk off the store with, like, shit on their pockets. And it doesn't matter unless they try to steal the stuff from, like, the electronics section. Oh, uh, speaking of stealing. Mm hmm? Um, back in days, uh, when I was in my school, fi fifth grade, I believe. Mm hmm Um, uh, I've been friends with, like, those two people. The girl who been using me just to, like, use my mom's computer. Of course. And the guy who been stealing my homework. Uh, I had a real, a really bad taste in friends, actually, yeah, when I look back at it. But, uh, once I walked into a fucking store, and I had a little bit of money with me, like, I, I usually was the girl who was saving money and, like, you know, trying to, like, manage them. Um, so I had a little money for food, because I have to stay in the, uh, in the school for, like, around eight hours, instead of, like, Six or like you know like I have to stay there more than others. Right. Um. So I had this uh, money just to buy my lunch, and then the guy who been stealing my fucking homework um was like, "Hey, points at fucking candy like a candy bag." 
I want that. And I was like, <laughs> well, well, cool, buy it then. And he was like, but I don't have any money. And like, and he Can was you like, steal it from for me? No, no, no. He was like, he dropped the bag, put it in his pocket, like the cashier was actually looking oh. at us. So, he, so he made sure she looked at us. Oh. And walked outside. Oh. Uh, and I like since I was like a baby, I was like, huh, huh, what do I do? Don't, <laughs> uh, right? don't pay and, for it. You don't. You didn't pay for it, right? And then the girl also left and was like, we will wait for you outside. I was like, okay. Uh... And then I was like trying to leave, and she and the cashier was like, but who's gonna pay for that? No. And, and I was like, I guess I have to. No! Okay, yeah, you had shitty fucking taste in friends when you were younger. That's awful. Hey, Arcade Punk, yeah. thank you for the $10. The thing, the thing is... Car pusher for Walmart. It used to get bad. I remember having to fetch and clean a motor cart that was used and just left near an RV with a horrific amount of used cigs in the seat. Jesus. The thing is, it's not even the end of the story, because... They actually left without me, like I had to like chase them, <laughs> and then we went to like a place. Oh, uh, but like you know, like the flyers, and like apparently the worker who's supposed to give away the flyers left. And right. And there was just flyers laying on the on the table next to like a store. Right. Instead of taking one flyer and maybe like you know, I'll be like, oh yeah, this deal is really cool. I will use it later. They took like a bunch of flyers, just like oh like. Like a good pack the house of them. I worked on saw one of the previous tenants set it on fire. Oh for my the God. next two years, I worked on repairing that with my dad. At least you help fix that. They took a bunch of those pliers, like full of hand, right? Ryan? They walked a few steps forward and threw them in a fucking uh, can. Of course, because they're assholes. And I was like. Do I, what am I supposed to do? Right if now? someone did that shit to me, I would never unassociate with them ever again. I would just completely block them from my life. What a bunch of assholes! Well, I, I either have to stick with people who bullies people or get bullied. Guys, <laughs> uh, like I hey, Alyssa, thank knowledge. you for the five oh, euro. The bottles yeah. were literally next to where the cashier is, so it was pretty obvious she was going to get caught. People are dumb. Fuck. Anyways, let's continue watching the grooming. Hooray! Correctly, and you're not doing it too much. As you can see, though, it is getting off a decent amount of hair. You can irritate the dog's skin, so that's why I try to use this tool the least. Thankfully, I haven't had any issues irritating a dog's skin personally. With friends like those, who needs an enemy? Yeah, exactly, champ. With this tool, but that's because I was educated before I started using it, and so I'm barely applying any pressure, and I'm not staying in one spot too long because that's a recipe for disaster. I forgot to get me- Hey, virus, thank you for the $20. Working hmm? at Publix, our quiet store turned into a nightmare when we heard screaming. We thought that it was some punks, but it was some girls screaming cause their mom had collapsed in front of them and was having a seizure. Jesus, fuck. Everyone here on chat has their own nightmare story about working on retail. I mean, Chad, go ahead. I wouldn't mind listening, honestly. We could actually, like, have another stream in the future where we just, like, talk. Instead of I'm, playing something. Want, we can just do, do a podcast have... about, like, nightmare yeah, yeah, yeah. retail stories. Do, do you want to do, like, a toxic cast? A oh, toxic no, cast? No, no, toxic cast all day thing, by the way. Of course. Oh, uh, uh, made by Dreamer. Hey, Twitchy. Um, You'd rather play contentious lines with Ben and Bobby than work in the electronics section again. Same. Somebody said toxic talk. Toxic talk. You know, I mean, it makes sense. I got 100k subscribers on YouTube, so that means I have to start a podcast now. Doing Lily's I have to. Camera, but today she was a little bit of a handful, and I kind of blame Ollie being on the floor and distracting her. But even for her paw pads, she was, like, pulling her paw away and just not really wanting to cooperate because, again, she was just too focused on whatever Ollie was doing. So I gave in, and I ended up putting Ollie on the table with her so she could, like, calm Aww. down. For a and I gave... My hey, 512. My tell horror story is the 60-person raid at the entrance that one day. It was planned. Oh, you mean when, like, a bunch of people coordinate and they just go, They can't arrest us all! And they just get everything from the store? 
As a title of I stole gum instead I made it as a dumb teen I stole a creeper toy but I did pay for the toy in the end. Aww. Give her this matching flower. That actually, that, that actually is an, on topic with the stream because Minecraft. And Dana, I'm not sure what flower is that. Maybe um, a lilac? I, I don't know guys. Don't come for me. I don't know flowers. These two do come on a five week grooming schedule, <gasps> so they pretty much know the rodeo. And by the time I put the bow ties and everything on them, they oh, know come the on. I also oh, do. Look at them with the little scarf thingy. I hey, China know, Ball. I worked on was supposed to be a simple cleaning job, but the fence was broken along with a window because the tenants threw a party and broke into the house after we told them to leave. Fucking Christ. Usually, you know, usually like landlords are the evil ones, but. Teenagers and young adults as tenants is a nightmare. Do spray them down with my favorite cologne, also by Chris Christensen. Not plugged, just Look love the them. cologne. It's Adeline's Baby Fresh. I think that's the one that I'm using. It smells so good, and the moms just go crazy for it, but I don't blame them because it's totally one of my favorites. But yeah, who would have thunk? A German Shepherd and a Jack Russell Terrier. Not a combo you see every day. Aww. But these two just complement each other so well because while Ollie looks calm and collected, he's definitely internally screaming and then Lily's <laughs> yeah, like tell. the exact opposite. I put them on the floor to go play with the other dogs, but they're probably just going to sit in a corner and look at each other. But I'm all done with them, and if you're still watching, comment, Bye, Lily and Ollie, to confuse the new people. What the fuck? Hell yeah. Hi, Thank you, dogs yeah, by Logan. Yeah. Kelvin's does that, like, uh... So like he generally confuses now people. This is all he does. Bye, Lily and Ollie. I need to start doing that for my streams. Bye, Chad. Bye, Chad. Bye, Creeper. Anyway, I think enough time has passed. I think it's time to the final part of the stream. It's time to see viewers as pets. Hey. Hell yeah. <gasps> Can I show Cookie? You may show Cookie actually. Yes. Chad. Cookie, my actual cat. A Sazel cat. Cookie, cookie. First of all, though, we need to show off these ones. So this one is by Alyssa the Artist. Car doing a blip and EP doggy. Look at them. Oh my god. Oh. Thank you, Alyssa. Next one is by Paxter Packhams. Take a look at Luna. Aww. Oh my god! It's like hiding in there. And like in, in, in the little in the little cave. Get it because Minecraft? That's the perfect. Alright, I'm gonna Holy I, shit, though. I'm gonna like all of these actually. Oh, you want you want to show Horacia? Yeah, I want to show uh the cats from Cat Cafe. Yes. The orange, the orange one fucking hated uh hated my plushie. So, chat. Uh, we went to a cat cafe with Azazel like a few weeks ago. We went to this cat cafe called like uh Cafeteria Horacia, I think. I'm not quite sure, but they had a mascot, and this mascot was a cat. Like a orange white cat with Down syndrome called Horacia. Look at her. Look at this magnificent being. She's so cute. And the only thing that she did while we were at the cafeteria was like just stand around like near the stairs and just kind of stare at people. Like she's completely fine. She's actually a very old cat. Like you can see the the little white spots on her orange fur, like she's lived a very long life. And she's just chill and nice and friendly. There's also an orange one, a big orange one that like tried to kill Azazel's puppet over here. This is, <laughs> this picture is just blurred to shit. And we also have Azazel's own cat called- yeah, hold on, hold on, hold on, let me show you. Okay. Uh, this is, um, this is my cat, Cookie, and, uh, my two twins that we adopted, they, uh, my mom's cat, uh, they called Mustard and Custard. This Th is Cookie. And this is Mustard and Custard. 
This literally just looks like the same cat, but this one is like enlarged. No, they're like actually the same size. They just like it just looks like uh, the perspective the trick. Me versus the one she tells you not to worry about. Look at Cookie. Uh, Cookie is a very young cat with a really short paws, as you can see. Like, he's really short and stinky, but I really love him. He is my cat. Next one is by Simple, just Simple. I don't even get the name of this one. Oh, look at how lazy he is. Oh, judging. Oh, big snows. Oh, you have other other pets in the background too. Oh my god! Thank you, just simple. Next one is uh, by Viodre. This is my cat Yizma. I remember Yizma. She loves up to oh her name, but of stealing people's seats. Oh my god, look at this fluff ball. Hell so yeah. Fluffy. Oh my god. Next one. Oh my god, a hamster. Hamster? Some hamster representation by Johnny Apple. Yo! This shit is fire! What is that pillar of nuts? <gasps> Can you get me one? Pillar of nuts on the ceiling. Aww. Oh my god! Why look he's so fucking round? He looks so shocked. Uh, this is next one is Castar. Here's my boy. His name is Seamer, and he's a big baby. Yo! Basket cat. Basket cat. Basket cat. Basket cat. Basket cat. Basket cat. This shit is fire. He looks so unamused by everything. Hell yeah, Seymour. Angry Destroyer donates to and says, I want to show my grumpy cat, but I'm blocked. Sorry about that. <gasps> Joseph Lee shares off this creature. Looks like a plushie, almost. Oh my god. They look like a plushie. What is this breed called? They look like a giant plushie. Uh, by the way, I told Phil how we call, like, small dogs in my country, uh, plushy dogs. Plushy dogs. Yeah. Basket cat, and now we have bed dog. Bed dog, bed dog. Some kind of poodle, I think. Some kind of poodle mix, I think. By the way, my cat is called Diablo, and my dog is called Pirate. Diablo. Diablo. Diablo doing the blip. Thank you, Alyssa. Oh my gosh. Uh, next one is Coco's doggy. Oh. Look. He's doing the thing that I love the dogs do when they cock their head to the side. When they're whenever they're confused, they go like, huh, 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 huh? huh? oh. Ooh. No bitches? No bitches. Amazing. Uh, next one is by Fugi Karamoto. Orange cat. He has committed 87 war crimes. Of course, because he's orange. The orange menace. He's currently... He's currently basking in the sun to get photosynthesis so that he can get energy for his like future antics. His name is Safari, but he think, but he thinks his name is Cat, the dumbass. Uh, next one is by Susie Bell. This is the cat, actual actual Maynard, from real life. <gasps> yeah! Look at the little hat. Look at him. I once got a YouTuber stream chat to bully him into a chicken cam. The chickens pooped on his desk. <laughs> Thank you, China Ball. Oh, hell yeah, Maynard. Let me remove all these. By the way, can I show the cat of my uh younger? Sure. Since younger, since younger been revealed to the family, um, uh, 
like since the honor been revealed to you, Chad, uh, it now everyone knows that I have a sibling. My sibling actually also owns a cat. Uh, the first, <gasps> like the first one is younger cat Mini. Second one is Kutia. Mini. And others two is um Mini and her daughter. I love when they loaf like that. Which one is this? It's Cookie. Cookie! I love that face! Look at that face! He's so fucking proud of himself! And the last two... The evil! Oh my god, that one is so small. Look at that little dust ball over there. So goddamn small. This is Mia and her daughter. Aww. Next one is by Dastom. This is a little... I don't know what the name of this breed is, but I love the flat nose. Look at that little... Look at that little... Her name is Luna, by the way. Oh, look at that oh, little yeah. refined gentlewoman. I, I, th I think the profile picture fits this dog really well. <laughs> uh, next one is by Temi. Uh, My three-leg cat, Shizu. Birdie. This is Shih Tzu, Phil. It's a Shih Tzu. Uh, my three-leg cat named Birdie. Is that an actually three-leg cat? Oh my god. Oh, only has like three legs. Oh my god. Hope she's okay. Yeah, cats usually like adjust to that. I hope, uh, I'm glad that this cat fall in the love and home and family. Aww. Oh, it's a plush in the background. Ah! Whore, 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 whore. <laughs> whore. Whore, whore, whore. This is Eklavost's cat. Why is Chris oh, Redfield trending? Seductive let's Sunday! Let's not talk about that. Let's not talk about that. Anyway. Why are they so serious? Her name is Duchess, by the way. Oh my god! <laughs> serious? <laughs> she got a little bit of like that that old potion right there. She's got she's a little bit fucked up, if you know what I mean. <gasps> the donut! Oh my god! No, this is bread. The oh, absolute the bread. bread. Oh, splaying it out for everybody to see. Look Hell yeah. Look at those beans! Look at those beanies! This is by... You Magikarp. Silly old cat photo. His name is Thunder in Dutch. He's a little sneaky and Wait, likes to told... seal treats. Have you told a uh, child about the... Like the bag story kind of thing? Nah, don't worry. I'll tell it some other stream. I don't want to reveal Come too on. much personal information all at once. Come on, it's it's really per it's perfect for the stream. Plus, it's perfect for the photo. Puff Sphere. This is Puff Sphere Doggo. This is a very old scraggly doggo, I think. Aww. I love dogs that have like their face completely obscured by their hair, but I don't. I don't know if that's healthy for them though, but they seem to be to be able to know where they're going. Uh, this is by Anxious Rat. Here are my babies. The babies. Oh my gosh, I love those fluffy black cats. Is he putting his arm around the smaller cat? Look at that! Look at that fucking muppet hand going across. Keep him safe. Their names are Oz and Sea Line. Oh uh, my gosh. Next one I is by Nyan the Cartoon. <gasps> Here's my oh silly my. animals. Oh my god. Absolutely no fucking thoughts behind those eyes, by the way. I love I love cats that like uh they look like bread. Oh look at the little look at these little old guys. They're so old. I had chickens at one point, but the whole forest is to get them away. They also stopped me from doing archery in my neighborhood. Thank you, China Ball. Oh, 
Oh, look at the belly. Look, look at that. Look at that face. She looks very happy with herself. Meow. 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 Next one is by oh King Cobra. God. This one is like, look at this evilness going on over here. Oh my god! Look at this actual grumpy princess. Absolute queen. I'm really happy that cat adopted you. My other two dogs, not me in the photo. Aww. Last photo, love these fucking dogs. Look at those fucking dogs! Why the one is so small? That's a chihuahua. Ew. <laughs> I'm uh, saying ew just because I'm a chihuahua in real life. Absolute chihuahua energy. Next one is by Unlucky Kitty. Have Winchester, a blue healer puppy. <gasps> that was da -da 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 an impulse buy by my own mother. Mom! <laughs> okay. She's currently in her teething phase and hyper beyond belief. Note, I did try to get her named Bluey, but that was shot down fast. Aww. Oh, look at Oh my god! So that's why they have like the little white sides on like Bluey because like they kind of have like kind of have like kind of looks like a rain pattern. I like it. Adorable. Next one is by Silly Creature. This one is not actually showing up. Oh, it got removed. Never mind. Okay. Uh, next one is by Omina Monkey. Monkey. There's a weird ass cat with giant eyes. Oh my god. Look at those they giant looking. peepers. They are so looking. He's called Epu, by the way. I love Epu. Oh my god, you're gonna love this next one. Mm -hmm. This is by Liddy Kitty. These are older photos since I haven't been down to see her in a while, but this is my parents' husky. Oh Look at god. how huge. Huge that boy is. Her name is Callie. Yeah. Next one is by Octofox. This is Seashell Mercury, Winter and Grey. Oh my god, look at the loaves! The council has decided to fucking murder you. Seashell, Seashell Mercury is the black one, Winter is the gray one, and Tiger is brown slash black. All nicknames are fat ass, little shit, and sweetie. I Aww. love it. I love it when like people like call their little, little cats like little shit ass or like little fat ass, because like the cats don't understand that. They don't understand they're being uh, like fucking mocked. Uh, fun fact: before hmm? Minnie was called Mia, uh, like so when her mother was alive, like mm -hmm. they look identical. So the mother was actually called Mania, uh, and the cat that uh, currently called Mania, her name was Shitass. <laughs> <laughs> I love Shitass. We love Shitass in this household. Next one is by Arts Nove. Some photos from this morning. Love a good reason to show off a spring photo shoot with pets. This is a snake. Yeah. Take a look at this badass. Look at those puppy like, eyes, though. I would say it's actually a really good picture taken, like, holy shit. This is a good photo shoot. Her name is Apep. She's a ball python. With the skull and everything. She's Dangerous. Oh my god. People, people, like, like, shows and media and movies, like, like to depict snakes as, like, really evil looking, but, like, look at how puppy they look. They look like absolute pop, eh? If you take a good care of your snake, or uh, like they actually really cute and lovable, like plus you have to feed them like like 
next few like uh, every few weeks, maybe months. Next which one. Is really cool. Next one is by Emerald Sword. My cats, Blackjack and Luke. Are they embracing? Oh wait, I haven't done not just the the black cat first. I can't. I I don't know where the black one starts and the other one ends. Oh my god, yeah, the face here is like a fucking. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a it's like an illusion. Amazing. Look at the puppies. Also the puppies. Nuh. Nim, 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 nim. The one on the right is going like nim nim nim. Huh? Amazing. Nim, 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 nim. With, with the fucking goat, like. Nim, 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 nim. Huh? Hey, China Ball, thank you for the two dollars. Huskies are the best dog to watch someone else own. Yeah, because of the constant screaming. I do love the screaming though. Hold on, let me turn this down a little bit. Next one is by God's Anal Circus. <laughs> what? I love that name. Whoever what? you are, good, good fucking tag for for Twitter. Uh, my little dogger and lizards. They actually have what? really good pets, though. Thank you, Anal Circus. Look at that little oh. thing! <laughs> Look at that little thing! The dog's okay. name is Siva. I love Siva. And the little orange lizard is Apollo. And the yellow lizard, I would appreciate some suggestions on their name. That's the orange one, that's Apollo. That's the yellow one. Call him Piss God. No. The Piss God. I mean, Anal Circus would probably actually be into that name, but no, no, it needs to be like actually serious. Got any, God. got any suggestions, chat? Wingus, banana. Hmm. Apollo, Apollo, Apollo. Like, is there anything that matches Apollo? Hmm. Citrus. People really like citrus, actually. Artemis. Okay, okay. Uh, pop slime. Okay, uh, anal circus. Pop slime actually has a perfect suggestion. Artemis. That's actually really either either Citrus or Artemis. Helios also works. Oh yeah, like Helios, like the god of the sun, aka the yellow ball thing in the sky. Helios would actually work really well. Uh, next I one. I also really like Cheddar. Cheddar, <laughs> of course. Uh, next one is by. Call him permission. Next one is by Joshua Jones. Oscar, oh. the twenty-pound cat. Huh? Oh. You, know, you know that meme where the the cat like cocks his head like to the side and goes like Huh? Huh? Rub my belly. Huh? Huh? Uh, these next ones are by Grottle and they are the doggies. Oh my in, in, in a little gray in a little gay carpet. Why the dog looks so bad? <laughs> I love the side eye. I I love when the when the when the dog gives you like a little side eye like, mmm, what you doing over there? Gay carpet. Gay carpet. Hold on, just a second. I think we may. Hold on. I think we may need to stop right now because those are way too many dogs and way too many cats. But let me scroll down and see if I can find, like, some pictures that stand out before we end the stream. <gasps> Tara Bunny! Coming in with the clutch of the rare pet! My cat Ponyo! <laughs> Look at them! Oh my god! You own a fucking axolotl? This is so cool! Oh my god! I love Axolotl so much. I, 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 when I was younger, mm -hmm. I wanted to have, uh, like, I, when I was younger, I wanted to have an Axolotl and a black, uh, like, and a white snake. Look at them! Oh! Uh, look, 
little toes and shit. I wish I had found an axolotl in the actual game. Thank you, Tar Bunny. You're doing God's work by sending these pictures. Wait, but there's axolotls in Minecraft. Yeah, I wish I could caught, catch one in the game, but they're pretty rare. Not really. Uh, next one is by Four Eyed Guy. Zero brain cells creature. Those Dorito. eyes are so fucking big! I love to call those cats Dorito cats. Dorito cats. Triangular cats. So fucking big! Her name is Liz... Lizia, or Foxy in English. Foxy. Oh my god, they can go so small as well when they're in the light. Holy shit. Oh, I like that. This is hunting mode, and this is silly mode. But why? Why people? Why say illegal? Fuck us, a foxy. I don't care. It's the name of the <laughs> cat. <laughs> I don't care. It's the name of the cat. Lizia. What is Lizia? Is this German? Is is like foxy uh, like Lizia in German? I believe for I for I is Russian. Let me. This is by Zombie Man. My little ones, Molly and Shamus. Molly is a smart dog and is scared of everything that moves. They're both extremely jealous whenever I give the other attention. Look at them. Oh, that so That's a really, really cool couch, man. It's a chair. Couch chair. This is the- this is what you would find in the Spencer Mansion in Resident Evil 1 for like a fucking couch chair. Look at Doom. Hell yeah. Oh, look at them! Such a good boss. Alright. A lot of people have given uh, their pictures of their pets, but I think it's time to wrap it up. Yeah, your browser will not hold one more tab open. <laughs> I have so many open. Oh look, it's the fishes from Perfect Blue. Uh -huh. By deranged uh, Margaret, aka Silly Guy. I like them. I'm getting, I'm getting PTSD after this movie. All right, everybody. I think with that, it's over. We have managed to find the groomatorium, and we have watched a lot of grooming pet videos. We have attempted and we have succeeded in the raid. I think we have finished the Minecraft stream. The Minecraft stream. The Minecraft stream because I'm not going to play Minecraft again. What? But David Baron's server, can we play Minecraft? I mean, we'll play Minecraft, but I don't think I'm going to stream it. Maybe. Depends. Can we play Minecraft? Right now? Yes. I'm hungry. I'm gonna. I want. I want to go eat dinner or something. What? Best what? grooming stream ever. Hell yeah! What? I'm. But, but Minecraft. I will play Minecraft later. I'm glad that you like. You you guys liked it though. A, a lot of people were very 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 scared, but I'm glad that it actually came out like pretty well for everybody. Oh, can you play the music for ending? Which the music? The speed running one. I already did at the intro, but if you want, <laughs> if you want to, yeah, I guess we'll have to end it like that. It's a, it's honestly the perfect end. All right, it's time to end it. Thank you, everybody, okay. for coming, and I'll see yeah. you next week. You have to say how Logan says bye, chat. Bye, chats. Actually. Yeah, sure. Put in, in the comments below to confuse everyone. That was the best grooming stream ever! And put like a shit ton of like emojis at the end of that, you know? Put Azazel Ball! Azazel, yeah, like uh, on the comments of the stream on the VOD, just put in, That was the best grooming stream ever! <laughs> no, no, no! Uh, is that too much? Yeah, it's too much. Oh, what? I love grooming. Yeah, put everyone in the comments either that was the best grooming stream ever or I love grooming. And now it's time to go. Thank yeah, wait. Yeah? We should really start the toxic call, like toxic talk. Yeah, the toxic talk would be nice. Next week will be something different than this. 
I am actually oh. ripping off Asher's like stream idea for like next week. Hopefully, I you guys will be happy. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys will be happy with that. I'll see you next week. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Hey, bitch. Fuck you. Be gone. You. Be Fuck gone. You. Fuck, Fuck you. This is where Major Klug lives. I